Oh, you're starting chapters right after. Okay. I thought it was a little annoying, you know, to have the little sections in between, like the end. Uh, okay, I, I see you, video game. I, I prefer this. It makes it easier for me to cut up things. Ignorant cults, the kin of Begarna, the Cosmographica. Oh, and here's the Azure Fragments. Whoever manages this library must have some out-of-this-world connections to have gathered this many rare books from all over the place. <clears throat> well, this is a, uh, a copy of the Isthmian Tales. Uh, what's a banned book doing here? Guys over at the congregation for the sacrament would flip their lid if they saw this thing. And there aren't just old and rare books either. I found one that was published this year. No way. What's it called? It's called Liberlian Cuisine, published by the Liberal News Service. That can't be real. What's that doing here mixed in with all this of uh, the other stuff? You sure you aren't pulling my leg? Your guess is as good as mine. The photographs of food in it look delicious, however. Oh, I bet they do. There's this girl named Dorothy who works for the LNS, Liberal News Service, I believe. Uh, and she's one incredible photographer. Oh yeah, don't know how I forgot, but weren't you hungry? I was, but I finished eating while you were busy looking at the books here. I did save some for you, of course. Hey, a smidgen. What a sucker. How fast did you eat? Wait, we bought that poor store's entire bread supply and this is all that's left? They were perfectly baked too. The flour used was clearly of high quality, but bread like that can't be made without excellent water either. I think I like Liberal. Well, I can't deny the country's got some great grub to try all around. Let's get off the subject of food already. I know, there's something truly odd about this place. Gee, could it be like you're in space or some dimension or something? Uh, we should have a thorough look around. Yeah. Oh, come to think of it. Oh, okay, so you weren't kidnapped here. It's completely stopped glowing now. Might as well be inactive again. I doubt it was a coincidence that it started glowing just before we were sent here. This is no ordinary artifact, that's for sure. Give it to me, Kevin. I'll look after it. Huh? Why? Protecting you is my duty as your squire. As such, I can hardly stand by and let you keep something that poses such danger on your person. I should be the one to keep it. Wait a minute, Reese. Give it to me. Look. First, we still don't have any conclusive proof that this cube is the reason we ended up here. Second, despite me being the one who had it up until this point, uh, you're here with me anyway. So unless you plan to take it off me and run as far from me as possible, uh, who's holding it won't make a darn bit of difference. But still, sorry, but this time I'm actually ordering you. You wouldn't disobey an order from your superior, would you? All right then. But if we find out for sure that it is really dangerous, promise me you'll get rid of it. That's all I want you to agree to. All right, promise. Anyway, you up for some exploring? I don't know what's up with this place, but it's time to try and find out. Find by me. Number of rare and valuable books. For some reason, the copy of the world looks clean. And we're gonna say it again. All right, what are you rocking? Oh, you have a haze. Cool. An action two. Hmm. Oh, you you doing this garbage? So you actually have a four percent. Hmm. I wonder how high they're gonna go on the HP. Gonna get like HP six plus thirty percent HP. 
This place looks pretty cool, though. I give him that. Huh? What's that? Well, this is foreboding. Doesn't look to be a relic of the ancient Zemirian civilization, though. I agree. As far as I can tell, it's not any kind of device. Simply a stone monument. Oh, there's something written near the bottom. Oh, so there is. Let's see. The Hermit's Garden. What is that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. It could be a message, or maybe even... Actually, let me look it over uh, some more before I... Or, yeah, let me look it over some more before I say anything. Nope, can't find any hidden switches or the like anywhere. You're right. It really is just a stone monument. Shall we try destroying it to see if anything happens then? I get first hit. Wait, no. No way. <laughs> uh, just because we've just established it isn't any kind of device doesn't mean nothing bad will happen if we go smashing it to bits. Don't worry, I was just joking. You so weren't. Anyway, let's save extreme options like that until after we've explored all of our uh, more reasonable ones. I say we should uh, go and look around somewhere else. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, what's a huge tree doing here? There's no sign of any others in the surrounding area either. As big as it is, it doesn't seem to be a fruit tree, unfortunately. Figures you wouldn't get that lucky. Come to think of it, though, uh, you weren't always an expert on plants and uh, medicinal uh, herbs and stuff, right? You don't, uh, you don't recognize what kind of tree this is. I wish I did, but no. At the very least, it isn't one that grows on the western side of the continent. Did you work something out? Maybe, maybe not. We should try looking somewhere else now. Oh, right. Still, even if it doesn't bear fruit, Maybe it has sweet sap inside, like maple trees. Maybe I can cut into the trunk a bit to see. No, no you cannot. Okay, so there's, there's more going on over here. Interesting. That, that transition right there is a little awkward. As is that one. We'll come back to that. Well, this is nice. It's like some kind of rest area or something. But why? What's it doing here? Well, resting is important. I'd love to sit and enjoy a relaxing lunch here. Well, I'll give you that. Uh, I'll give you that it might be kind of nice. Although personally, my first thought was that I'd love to sit and fish here if there were any fish to be fished. Really? I didn't know you still liked fishing. Sure, can't say I've gotten any better at it, but a hobby's a hobby. I wasn't surprised, uh, or I was surprised how many fishing uh, fanatics uh, there are over in Liberal. There's a guild in Gransel that's really hardcore into it, and one girl I ran into uh, would give most pros a, a run for their money. Oh. Something wrong? It's nothing. Regardless, it's a shame there are no fish in it. The water here is exceptionally clear. I think this should suffice as a water source for us at least. Yeah. 
All right, let's go check somewhere else. this? I'm not sure. I'll take a closer look. Hey. Huh. Who dumped all this sepith on the ground? Well, whatever. Don't think anyone will complain if we take it. Don't tell me you're feeling disappointed it wasn't food. You're incredible. I didn't know, uh, I didn't know you knew how to read people's minds with your thaumaturgy. Uh, was that part of your Dominion training? Sure wasn't. All I needed to know was you. <laughs> the food is gonna be her shtick, eh? Oh. As far out as the eye can see. <clears throat> Just where are we? Beats me. Still... Wherever we are, it's big. Judging by how our voices don't echo anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, I've been everywhere. Let's go back. Did not do anything. Let's go back to the tree. Oh, okay. Wish the game didn't do that. Well, we've investigated the whole area now. But we didn't find anything that would give us any idea as to where we are. Maybe not specifically. I think I may have an idea what kind of place this is, though. Really? It's a place both within the burrow and not at the same time. Like a separate dimension of sorts. Can you elaborate? Well, you see, during the all the trouble with the Ariel, Kevin explained that the altered spaces hidden uh, within the tetra tetracyclic towers intended to seal the Ariel away. Wow. So you think uh, the place we're in may be similar. Interesting that they didn't actually explain that. Because... I mean, who in the right mind would play the third game before playing uh, the second or even the first? But... Uh, uh, it's just kind of out of place for the Trails games not to over-explain something, you know? Uh, so you think the place in we're in may be similar? Can't say for sure, but it's definitely a possibility. There are a few cracks in my theory, unfortunately. Oh, I think I understand what you mean. The Liberlian Cuisine book we found earlier is one, right? Exactly. If we assume this is some kind of enclosed space sealed away with the Ariel uh, all those years ago, how did a book that was only published this year get in here? All the other un unusual books are from after the Great Collapse, too. Which means... Someone else has been going in and out of here within the past year. Could it be that man in black we met at the port? Maybe, maybe not. I wouldn't peg him as the kind of guy who'd want to read about Liberlian cuisine, though. That's very true. Either way, I think we can say for sure, uh, sure now that someone, or that this situation we're in was planned out by someone. Possibly before that cube even came into our possession. You really think so? But if that really is the case, what should we do now? There's the million mirror question. We don't have much work, uh, much to work with here. Just a big open area with no way out. Oh, this again. Oh. That sounded like something broke. Yeah, but what? Crap. Kevin took his battle ornament out of his pocket. He noticed... All the quartz in it were shattered.
Here we go. Seeing this, Reese took out her own battle orbment. Mine is the same way. Even my spare quartz are ruined. Just what is going on here? What? Hey, Mana Dryad. What's the best thing that happened to you today? What just happened? I don't know. I'd wager it was this cube's doing. I uh, guess we can add altering this area to its list of quirks along with wrecking our quartz. Are you sure it's a good idea to keep it on you? Honestly, I get the feeling uh, we'd be uh, stuff out of luck without it. At least now we've got some new stuff to investigate that could lead us to the right direction. We should go check all the places uh, that have changed. All right. Did I ask you? I definitely asked you. What's the best thing that happened to you today? Oh, look at that. They actually, uh, okay, I see a video game. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Let me investigate that monument first. That definitely looks to have changed. All right, we probably should. Okay, fine. Just force it out of me, why don't you? <clears throat> so lame, though? The best thing that happened to you is so lame? Look, sometimes people have brought that question uh, right back at me, and... You know, I, I struggle with answering that, too. I come up with, like, the silliest things. Like, oh, you know, like, I cleaned off some dust off of my desk. And that was the best thing that happened to me today. Uh, I can understand if it were an artifact or an orbment, but how did a lump of stone start glowing like this? It's like magic. Now, there's an apt enough description if I've ever heard one. Only thing I, uh, I can add to that is the laws of... The world as we know them don't seem to apply to it. Rise. Huh? That was a voice, wasn't it? Rise the cube before the monument. Who's there? Who are you? Please. Uh, what are we going to do? The heck with it. Not like we got any better options. A hard question? It is a hard question. Um, but, you know, when it comes to saying things like, uh, you know, how are you doing? You know, those, those, are, those are simple questions. We can't ask those questions here. Uh, visitors from afar. This again. This voice is different, though. Welcome. In accordance with my master's wishes, I shall grant you power. Huh? Name your currency. So that we may transact within the system that you know. Wait a second. What do you mean by currency? Maybe it's going to sell us things in exchange for Mira. Oh, I get you. Understood. And I shall grant you power in exchange for that currency. Interesting. We should have said, like, air. Or something. Like, I'll give you all the air that you want. Oh. They're doing this in a weird way. A very weird way. Uh... You got to sleep and get up early than usual today. Your sleep schedule is messed up. Was going to sleep around 7 to 9 a.m. Then get ended up or, and getting up at 5 p.m. But the best thing, you got to talk to your friends. <laughs> now it's my turn. 
Uh, you people just love turning this back on me. Like I know what the best thing that happened to me today is. Talking to friends, now that's something to cherish to people that tend, uh, tend to take for granted. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of my friends, uh, we kind of grew distant after, after uh, school ended. You know, people, people went their separate ways. So it's definitely a very good thing to keep in touch with the friends that you you can. I agree with that. Alrighty, so we need to trade. So do a hundred. Could be enough for now. I wanna buy that and that. And uh, the best thing that happened to me today, I went to the grocery store today. And everything that I wanted to buy was actually available to me. It's, uh, it was one of those rare moments where like all the, uh, there was like the perfect amount of almond milk for me to buy. And then like the perfect number of pasta boxes. And then like the onions were actually, you know, uh, they actually looked kind of decent this time around. So uh, I, I appreciated that. My American, I am American. I am a silly American. For all the, the good and bad that comes with it. Okay, I feel like I should synthesize more quartz, but no, we're gonna... Uh, why am I asking people this question? Uh, the long and short of it is uh, most of the time when someone goes into a stream and you know they say hey how are you and they're like oh I'm fine how are you and you're like oh I'm doing fine um, you know it's, it's a very uh, not a very interesting uh, conversation I suppose there's there's that part but then there's also the part of if if you want to, how do I want to put this? Um, if, if you're not having a great day, you know, and you say like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing fine or whatever. You know, you, you ain't got to be pressured into that. If you're having a bad day, there's still something great that happened to you at some point in the day. Whether it's the tiniest little thing like wiping off a piece of dust off of your... Uh, your, your desk or finding a spider that you captured and set it outside so that it could live uh, it's there, there there's always something good happening and so it's it's uh, it's nice to remember that good you know remember the good don't dwell on the bad why is this one oh that's why let's go with that Release my brethren, then we shall grant you good fortune. Uh, what do you think that was about? Not what I know. Bizarre as it is to say, we should be able to buy things from Mira and use Sepeth to synthesize quartz here. Pretty useful, if nothing else. We do still have the Sepeth that was left over when our quartz were shattered. Perhaps we should use uh, those to synthesize some new ones. Sounds like a plan to me. We can stand on our own two feet just fine, but we're gonna need some. We're gonna need recovery arts if uh, we are to ever find ourselves in a jam. You got that right. Yeah. 
Maybe we'll we'll get some more. Interesting, you like it? Good first impression, unconventional. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Absolutely no uh, ulterior motives or anything. Just trying to see what's going down in the underground. Nah, I mean. We're gonna give you evade. We're gonna give you cast. Okay, then we need to. Go. See. Okay, so they're they're still doing this this annoying thing, but whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and equip our new stuff. Prototype bow by Vern that shoots pressurized water. Plum Edge. Compact black Templar sword used for assassinations. What is this thing selling to us? Tactics. You know what? Let's do that. Let's play as someone else for once in our life. Alrighty, we gotta release some brethren. Whatever that means. Holy Stragas. Oh, now you're saying that? Now this is something. It really is. It's as if petals of pure light are floating through the air around us. I welcome you, dear guests. What was? Did the tree just talk to us? In accordance with my master's wishes, I shall grant you the blessings of the earth. However, my power is not without its limits. I require compensation in exchange for its use. Okay. There's a ultra mega hyper strange. When my master's power returns, the variety of blessings I offer shall increase. May the blessings of earth be upon you. Man, if someone told me a tree just chatted them up and offered to sell them ingredients, I'd tell them they'd have one too many drinks. Uh, Reese, something up? A great tree took root. Uh... Near that great tree took root near to a seven colored spring, and there it granted blessings and joy. An excerpt from the book of Genesis, verse 7, the primal ground. O hallowed Adios, thank you for the divine protection and mercy you have bestowed upon us. Well, aren't you just tickled pink? Uh, I'm not sure this tree has anything to do with the goddess, though. I disagree. Even the testaments of the goddess say that all roads lead to food. Food is the fundamental basis of everything. That's not in any testament I've ever laid eyes on. That said, let me give you this. A recipe book. Huh. Why are you giving this to me? Because you are remark remarkably impious for a knight of the church. You should work on becoming more devout through cooking in her name. That doesn't even make sense. Besides, can't you just do the cooking yourself? But you've always been better at it than me. I'm sure it's the wish of the ingredients to be used in uh, by the best chef possible. But still, please. <laughs> I'm too soft for my own good sometimes. Well, fine. Uh, but you have to help me, deal? Also, the second I catch you snacking on something while we're making it, I'm done. I know. But do you know? Wait, still nothing over there. Go check out the fountain. Are they gonna give me... no. The 
bottom of the water is glowing. It's beautiful. Welcome, visitors from afar. Again. That sounded like it came from the spring. Visitors from afar, quench your thirst. In accordance to my master's wishes, I shall grant you vitality. Okay, that's pretty good. When my radiance is restored, I shall grant you vitality once more. When you have fought several battles, return to me. Okay, it's a little weird. Never had water actually energize me like that before. How is this even possible? I don't know, but I feel full of life as well. Looks like the water here only has that effect when it's shining, though. Yeah. Well, with all the, uh, the energy we've got now, I don't think there's much we can uh, get from here. We should check back later if we're ever feeling tired. Right. Alright, this, uh... This is setting itself up to be a weird game. <laughs> They're basically giving me a base of operations where I can buy equipment, food, um, stuffs, and rest, which makes me believe that we're not really going to be like, like, we're going to be returning here a bunch of times. Like, this is a base of operations, which means that we're probably not going to be in normal Laburl. It might, like, go like a Yeez route where we're climbing some mysterious tower or something like that, and we can return back here at any point to get stuff back. <sighs> this is taking a, a, a very curious direction. Uh, you don't think that could be the exit, do you? If anything, I'd say it's more like an entrance. Uh, a monument that sells us items. A tree that sells us ingredients. A spring that restores our vitality. It's like everything in here is designed to help us prepare for something dangerous. Or am I reading into it? No, I don't think you are. But what should we do? Could we try stepping on it? I don't have any better ideas at this point. Although it might be better if you stayed behind. Never mind, ma'am. We'll go together. It's not like there's any guarantee you'd be safe here, actually. Of course we will. But first, I should give you this. Brawl's Ritter Notebook. Huh? What are you doing with this? I was asked to give, uh, give it to you by Commander Selnate. Uh, in her words, Kevin's reports lately have been far too vague for my liking. I'll bet he's not even taking notes while he's out on the job. Give him this so he's got no more excuses to slack off. She figured it out, huh? Hold on, how are you close enough for her to, to ask you this kind of favor? He was the one who taught me how to use my Templar sword. I respect her deeply. No joke, I had no idea. Bet she kept that from me on purpose. Can't say I'm surprised. If I'd known, I sure as heck wouldn't have let uh, Reese. Kevin? Sorry, just spacing out. Our next destination is that circle. But if you have anything else you want to do first, speak up now. There's no telling what's waiting for us after we step on it. Understood. <laughs> 